Hi, today I'm going to recreate a makeup look that I'd posted on my Instagram a few weeks ago because there were so many comments saying, please do a tutorial of this look. It was actually a look on Cara Delevingne and I'd been working with her for a few days uh, just before I went on holiday on the Suicide Squad press junket for Europe and London and the premiere. So, at, right at the end of the press junket, it was Cara's birthday and she had a party and I kind of redid her makeup for the party and I said what shall I do and she said I'll leave it up to you entirely and um, I said let's do a sort of 70s metallic blue eyeshadow with gold or something a bit disco and she was like yeah yeah whatever fine um, so I did this look and I partly chose to do that firstly because we had like two minutes to think about it not even that like a minute and I also chose it because throughout the press junket I'd mainly been doing kind of smoky eyes, brown smoky eyes, black flick liner, those sorts of looks on her. So it was just like, let's have a big change and let's just do this makeup. Anyway, I did the makeup on Cara and think it was 10 minutes. It wasn't even 10 minutes. So um, I just took a quick snap and you guys liked it. So I've got a beautiful model today. Her name's Maddie. So I hope you like the look. So I'm going to start with eyes. I'm going to use this color from the Emerald Lust palette by Tom Ford with a damp brush. And this color is actually discontinue this palette but I'm going to put some dupe suggestions underneath the film so I'm going to find some very similar shades for you. So I use this damp all over just adding more and more colour until they've got that really almost liquidy shine from the blue. Just patting it on and using shadows with a damp brush like this really helps to bring that shine and pigment through and then I'm going to use a drier brush with the colour on just to blend at those outer edges and then soften the edges a little bit so just doing the second eye really piling that colour on and using the smaller brush on a dry brush this time just to blend all those edges. Using the same palette I'm just going to use the darker blue. I'll do some dupes for this colour. And then just a touch of the outer edge just to give a little bit more depth there. Just patting on over the top. Now I'm going to use this Tom Ford palette and this very dark sort of glittery blue. Um, this is called Last Dance and it is available and I absolutely love this colour. Use it with fingers because it's one of their glitters and just start to pat on. I love it because it's it looks really dark but it's got kind of ultraviolet, blues, pinks, all kinds of amazing colours. And to get it even more so, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see there all the different colours on my finger. You can wet your finger as well which picks up more intensity. And then really kind of start patting that on. And you can also use a damp brush just to really pat the colour on. And then keep building it with fingers. And blend off any edges. So now I'm going back in with the navy shadow and I'm just adding it to the outer corners, not all the way to the top of the socket line, but just kind of creating a bit more depth in there. Now I'm just going to clean up underneath before we go on and this is using an oil based remover just to pick up all of that glitter that dropped down. And this is well worth doing so you get a nice base. Do you ever wear makeup? Do you wear much makeup when you go out, Maddie? Um, not really, but just because I don't know how to put it on. To okay. Be what kind of makeup do you like? If you Oof. were to be... I can't leave the house without brushing my eyebrows, but that's about it. <laughs> so I'm just brushing your brows. Now these ones are quite tousled. Only on this side, actually, at the outer edge. Do you ever trim those a little bit? No, I haven't. Um, I want to, but I'm just a bit nervous. I can trim them for you. Could you please? Yeah, I'm just going to trim the out, just here, really. Best way to do it is to brush them all up first. Then you can hold them in place either with the brush or your finger. And then you just take scissors and you just go across the top 
this way you're not cutting any of them too short and they go back down kind of into a good shape and then you can cut put them down and then once you've brushed them down again you can see if you need to take any more off them and then what will happen is from now on when you brush them you're not going to get the curliness there thanks and I do that on lots I have to do that on a lot of my clients because <laughs> people have really long brows. Scary yeah. to do to yourself. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good if someone else can do it for yeah. you. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some powder through them as well. I'm just going to brush them all up again and put some colour all the way through just to give you that nice full brow look. And then exactly the same on the other brow. So I'm just filling in the kind of main body and lots of brushing with powder. And then here, I'm just going to thicken up a little bit. Just lots of small strokes. And then throughout the width of the brow, I'm just going to go underneath. So they're not too arch looking, they're just more kind of a softer arch but really thick. So next I'm going to use a navy blue eyeliner, gel liner, it's close for me, and this is just to work into the lash roots all the way along, and a fraction, and thin into the inner corner. And then I actually use the navy eyeshadow, a little bit damp as well. So this is the colour that I'd use at the outer edge here, and when it's wet it's just a bit more intense. And then I kind of winged out just at the outer corner. And then underneath, using the same navy, I cut from a dollar, just coming along. I know you said you're flinchy with ice, with um, liner, so I'm not going <laughs> to kind of come about halfway along. Wait a second, give you a minute to recover. <laughs> and along here. Now the last thing I want to do, and you are going to be flinchy about this, is if I can go along your waterline. So I'm just going over the gel again with the dampened eyeshadow. And then at the outer corner, just winging up slightly. I'm mainly doing that once you're looking up. So if you look up for me, Maddie, I'm just going to trace along your lower lashes. Sorry, this is the tickly bit again. You ready to be tickled? And doing that gives me a really good guideline on where I need to sweep up. Okay, on to lashes, and your lashes are phenomenally long. And I don't think I should use eyelash curlers, because <laughs> if I do, they're going to be touching your eyebrows. So, I mean, they're already quite curly anyway, so just look down for me. I'm just going to put a layer on. I want them to look nice and thick, but I don't really want them to get too much longer. So I'm using a volumizing, very volumizing mascara. Just open for me, let's have a look. See, it's already, already getting super long. A little bit more. Look up for me. And on the lower lashes, I'm actually only going to push it into the roots a little bit, because otherwise they're going to be way too long. And they're going to ruin the shape of my eyeshadow under there. Okay, the last thing on the eyes was this gold at the inner corner. I'm just going to add the gold now. So this is a creamy pencil, but I'm actually going to blend it in with the light gold powder from the Tom Ford palette, just to kind of soften the edges. So, on to base. I'm going to use the new Chanel Sublimage Le Ton, and this is a really creamy, kind of radiant foundation which is very good for more of a normal to dry skin. I'm going to buff a really thin layer of this all over. It smells amazing. It smells good, doesn't it? You've got such good skin anyway, you hardly need any. Thank you. I'm just going to even out slightly. So for concealer I only need a tiny bit obviously and just under eye so I'm going to use Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage and I'm going to mix it in with this liquid um, concealer by Maybelline just to give it a little bit more fluidity. 
and use quite a big brush just to buff very lightly under there and blend off those edges. So I'm going to do some sculpting with the light shade from Kevin O'Quan. And actually I'm also going to use this sort of half blush, half highlight by Mark Beauty to kind of blend all that in. And then I'll do the other side. So just to give a little bit more of a blush feel. Really soft though. So on to lips, and the lips are going to be really low key because this look was for a party. And if you're going to a party, you don't really want to be touching up constantly. So that's why I really want to make it natural. So I use this natural um, kind of beigey pink color. This is called Nuit Azure by Lancome. And this is one of the new, the 80 new shades that I've created for the brand. And I love this color. It's really beautiful. Kind of natural and soft. I can't believe you managed to come up with 80 new colors. <laughs> I know. 55 are brand new shades, and then the others are tweaks on some of the originals and bestsellers. Wow. Um, but yeah, it was such a huge process, and I got to, you know, do colours that I've always wanted to own myself. I kind of got to do some colours with myself in mind, and oh. just like all my dream colours. Do you have a favourite? Yep, it's called Idol. It's a really um, fiery, kind of pinky, corally red which wow. is definitely my favourite. But I love this nude as well. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the finished look. So just really natural, low maintenance. There was nothing for Cara to have to worry about, like her eyes didn't move. Um, lipstick is obviously just so natural that it's not going to come off on anywhere. So mm -hmm. have a look. That's the finished look. What do you think? Oh, wow. Bit, it's very glam, isn't bit it? bit glam for you, <laughs> yeah. You arrived with your um, natural, I mean, you look gorgeous with no makeup as well. Thank you. But I think this looks incredible on you. Yeah. You've got such beautiful eyes and eyebrows and lashes anyway. I think this yeah. really brings them out. <laughs> I'm going out later, so this is perfect.